Now today's blog we are going to discuss about the golf stones, right? Which are very very uh, becoming uh, common nowadays uh, due to our lifestyle, right? So let us understand the pathophysiology and the checkpoints of the golf stones, right? So first we'll understand the two main causes and then we'll move on to the pathophysiology. First is the amount of cholesterol related to the lecithin and the bile salts. So just you need to understand this that the cholesterol is secreted in the bile by the liver cells or the hepatocytes and the lecithin and bile salts are the part of the bile juice, right? So their concentration uh, which affects their equilibrium state matters in the formation of gallstones, right? And second is the degree of concentration and the extent of stasis, right? It means to say that the concentration of the cholesterol in the bile and the amount uh, and the time for which it stays in the gallbladder affects the formation of gallstone. Now, now let us understand how it forms the gallstones. So we can see that bile which is an associated colloid when transferred into the gallbladder if the supersaturated states occurs which uh, we will we'll be discussing later on it leads to the precipitation of monohydrate cholesterol crystals right. So it is an associated colloid if the uh, is a more above critical missile concentration right there is a CMC which is property of associated colloids it leads to the precipitation of crystals we are not going to detail of that but we need to know that it is an associated colloid type bind so that we can know much better about its properties now here are two structures which is a unilaminal vesicle and second is a mixed missile we need to understand these two very clearly clear concepts now we know that bile contains lecithin, cholesterol and bile acids, right? So the lecithin compounds with the cholesterol which form the unilaminal vesicle. So it's just like a phospholipid bilayer membrane uh, above uh, the outer part is hydrophilic and inner part is hydrophobic which binds with the cholesterol as the cholesterol is also a hydrophobic part. So it binds with it and forms a missile like structure which is known as unilaminal vesicle which is an important term you should know now. now. Now, after combining with now bile salts, its property little bit changes. It makes a mixed missile. Now, what is the difference between them is that the um, one molecule of lecithin can carry a one molecule of cholesterol, right? One ratio one. And a one molecule of mixed missile, in this a lecithin, one molecule of lecithin can carry or three molecules of lecithin can carry one cholesterol molecule. So, its cholesterol binding capacity is less and its cholesterol binding capacity is more of unilaminal vesicle so the important structure the important concept builds that this is the major product this missile equilibrium mixture is more found in the bile in the gallbladder right where the saturation takes place right saturation because of the absorption of water and electrolytes here in the bloodstream so what happens if the mixed missile is more and the water is less it will lead to the precipitation of crystals. Now let us see how it occurs. So friends in our final slide we can see that there are more cholesterol molecules rather than mixed muscles right. So this, this is a state of metabolism where due to more intake of cholesterol diet right the cholesterol will eventually get precipitated as we discussed right. So mixed muscle has a lower uh, capacity to carry the cholesterol molecules so they hardly attaches any cholesterol molecule or they uh, gets the cholesterol stays in the solution as the critical missile concentration rises that is a colloid as we already discussed there is a concentration of dispersed phase and dispersed medium through which a uh, substance can remain in the solute state so after a uh, certain concentration level is right uh, the cholesterol is raised it will start getting precipitated is a basic chemistry right so in solutions we have already read that the missile uh, have a hydrophobic part and hydrophilic part so inside they have cholesterol right so slowly and slowly there would be a sludge formation and these monohydrate crystals with lodge into this mucus they will start uh, getting into the nucleation stage and later they will be uh, compiled into a big stones right like this so this is a basic pathophysiology and secondly if this stays for example if the monohydrate crystals also formed if the gallbladder contractility is good right or the person is having a uh, good day daily routine right or he the as we have seen that the 
person who starves or who are more on dieting have the more probability of getting the gallbladder stones so this is the reason the gallbladder will not contract uh, in on time or as the person is starving or person is not eating is that the gallbladder uh, stimulation will not come and it will lodge here right so which will also increase the chances of gallstones thank you for viewing this video goodbye